are you interested in, Elizabeth? Sirens. All types of sirens? Kind of. API, not so much, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah. You probably know more about them than I do then, if it's all yeah. the older stuff. <laughs> have you have you had any other girls who are into sirens come here? Yes, one. She okay. was about ten. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Mostly boys, though. Yes. They come from all over the place, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's... Uh, Amazing that somebody could have, there is this one, I, I tell the story every time, his name was Parker, he was nine years old, and the owner, Jeff, he's not here right now, otherwise he would entertain you with all the <laughs> he knew everything about all the old stuff, all the new stuff, like the revolutions, the RPM, everything about yeah. it, so he was very into uh, sirens, yes. these are all New ones that are waiting to be installed. Where are you putting them up? Do you know? This row is going to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Cool. Where are you from? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. We have a lot down there. Yes, 168. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, have you seen this one before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? They look, they look a lot bigger. This is the Eclipse. Eclipse 8. Yes. Yep. They kind of took place of the uh, STH-10. It's a more modern version. And then the 50, or the Equinox in 508. Yep. Yeah. I don't have any 508s here. We just sent one out the other day to be installed. Yep, they're large, aren't they? Yes. Um, do you, do you exclusively use federal signal? Yes. Okay, okay. Is, is, are there even any other? Are there any, are there yeah, any there's other? American Signal, Wheelin, ATI, Sentry. There's, yeah. Is federal signal the one that's based near Chicago? Yeah. Or, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. So, uh, wow, I'll be darned. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, so you come in the spring, or even the winter, if you don't mind snow. We get a lot of snow here because of the lake effect. Yeah. But it's um, lots of hidden treasures out here. <laughs> yeah, no, we appreciated your, your uh, or you know, we totally understand that there's have, overgrowth. Yeah, just, we do get parts to fix some older ones, but... We primarily have to concentrate on the sure. stuff. So. Sure, sure, absolutely. It's a business. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jeff, the owner, is he will collect anything. So. Thunderbolt's right there. Yeah. And then the ones with the. Thunderbolt. There's one down here that's. Okay, so uh, you can get a better view. Better view. Wow, really interesting. Do you know what that green one is? Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah. It looks like a birdhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it does, that's what I thought. It's either a Model 5 or a Model 7. Depends <laughs> yeah, on the horsepower. Right. It's a Model 5. Is yes. that like a really old one? Or? Uh, yeah, they're 1980s. Oh, okay. Or are they stopped being made in the 1980s? I think they started being made like back in like the 20s maybe. Wow. Uh, so. That one just came back not too long this spring. We had a uh, community borrow it as a loaner because theirs was down and getting rebuilt. And wow. These are all whaling. Whaling. Take uh, a lot of their stuff down because it don't work and replace it with ours. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> so we have a plethora. But you keep, you keep them around just for parts and things? Yep. All these. Uh, Oh, Speaker drivers. Yep. Exactly. So you could be a technician. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. No. You never know. Yep. So we have a lot of communities that have these, and we service all the communities, or not all, but 90% of the ones in Michigan and uh, all of the United States. Yeah, I was going to wonder what your like your main your main radius is probably relatively 
We really don't do a lot of work install wells. Okay, install. Exactly. But uh, we have, I have a crew up in North Dakota right now that's been out there for almost three oh years. Oh my gosh. Uh, the owner is leaving Monday or Tuesday to go to Alaska to put one in. Oh my gosh. And then I have crew down in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Wow. Doing a bunch. Interesting. Yep. Are the crews all based here? Or, yep, or? they're out of here. They come, they go, usually two weeks out, and then they come home for four or five days. And... Wow. This is the one I was referring to, the Thunderbolt. Yes, 1003. What is this for, though? Solenoids. Yep. To make what? Um, high low, pulse, alternate whale, and pulsed whale. And <laughs> you're <yeah>. very educated. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a hobby. Yep. So Jeff, the owner, says these ones are quite rare, but we have collected uh, in the last five years more of these ones because you won't get rid of them than the traditional 1003s, 1000Ts. Is that red one just like the green one? That, the uh, yep, that's a Model 7. Uh, that motor is all seized, and, but we'll use the shroud and, and some sort of restoration. Parts and pieces. Do you know what this big pack what of life savers is? What happened to it? <laughs> Pardon? What happened to it? Um, a tornado hit it. <laughs> We had a bunch of tornadoes hit, but this one, somebody hit the pole that it was on mm -hmm. and broke it at the it whiplash and mm -hmm. went, psh, psh, wow, slammed in the ground. Bam. You Modulator. Know what, this is? what is Two, it? Three, four. Wait, I can't count. Two, three. Modulator 5020. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this that cell doesn't count because it's like a dummy cell. So the bottom one doesn't. Yeah. The, this one, one. Yep. The bottom this, one. This one has count. flutes in it. You put the drivers in here as well. So there's four per pod. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be a sixty twenty-four. Oh. <laughs> Even though there's seven, one of the bottom one is. I didn't. I didn't count correctly. Wait. Okay. Yeah, I, I did not count correctly. So six times four is twenty-four, right? right. Very cool. That's a that's a different one, huh? That's I think that's that's in two thousand one without the housing. Yep, yeah, without some parts and pieces. Okay. This summer has been. It looks like the jungle back there, but <laughs> it's so hot and everything just shoots up. So hard to maintain all of this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are you guys camping or vacationing? Yeah. My uh my older brother rented a a little lake house up in Muskegon. So, a few different family members of the house. There's a 4004 Vortex. Can't see the rotator. Some STH10s, VLNs, Thunderbolt. Trash beam. I am from just a little town north of Lansing. Okay. So. About an hour west of here. Or east, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do, um, some, let's just say that for work-related reasons, there might, there might be times moving forward where, where I'll be up, uh, I'll be up in different parts of Michigan every now and then, so I like it up here. Mm -hmm.
hate those. Who's the pair with the long, long sleeves? Yeah, <laughs> y'all, that we don't have these where I live, but they're called sand burrs. They develop oh. throughout the summer, then probably another few weeks, a month. They stick to your clothing, basically. Oh, they're horrible. Yeah, they should. will draw blood on you. They're a pricker, but they are just sharp and atrocious. Like right here, these things right here. They'll turn into prickers in a few more weeks. <laughs> and they will stick to you. And... You came just in time, Elizabeth. Yep. Yes. Not really too much more siren back there. Just more garbage. Which, uh, That's the main. We try to. A lot of communities, Oakland County, which is this city Detroit. North, I just learned about that here. She, I was saying we were talking about Detroit. Yeah, yeah. a little bit north of Detroit. They are the biggest. Um, they have uh, just in that county alone. Tell them three hundred. How many? I think like somebody told me like 270, 60 something. 278, something like that? Yeah. Yep. A lot. So yeah, she has a lot of them and she writes grants for most of her sirens. Really? Yep. I wonder where she probably gets from just different, she probably has a different FEMA source of. and uh, Homeland Security and because not a lot of people know, but they are um, homeland security first. Uh huh. They might not be used as that, but then you're running for it. Huh. That's a different one right there, huh, Elizabeth? I wouldn't mind owning one of these at some point. Owning all of them? Well, one of these, yeah. that. Make definite offer, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're almost old enough to play the lottery. You know. <laughs> you know. Win lottery, make Jeff an offer. He sounds like he's attached to these things, though. He might, he might drive a hard bargain. Yeah, he might. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you know, once in a while, some enthusiast or uh, big buy. I actually have a enthusiast coming from Wisconsin over at Wisconsin Dells. Uh huh. Tomorrow to pick up a siren he bought. I know, what? I know a couple from Wisconsin. Right here is a prime example. I just stepped on it. These right here. Oh, yeah. So they're developing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And all suckers hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's see right here. It's starting to stick already. All righty. It's about not too weak. Weak. I'm telling you, we, we dodged the bullet. Yep. We dodged the sandbur there. So you come in the springtime or late fall, and you can kind of wander around easily. Well, Elizabeth, I like it up here, which helps you. Uh, mm -hmm. So who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe uh, we can take a little little trip, a little field trip, sometime. Yeah, fall, that's pretty up here in the fall. Absolutely. All the colors and very interesting. Very interesting. Wow. Beautiful. So, uh, so I imagine there must be business in New York in this stretch of the United States. You know, we have a lot of kids. Um, I would say one a week, but you know, some weeks are busier than others. Yeah. That are autistic. Uh -huh. That will come and as they are, I've learn why they're drawn to the sirens now um, but you know, they're on the internet searching all this stuff and by far this is the largest collection of you know but we've gotten in the last three or four years gotten rid of a lot of some of it's just not good and, you know, I'm sure they only store it for so long before it turns into useless so even companies that do what you do we're the largest installer in the United States. Okay. Wow. Okay. They wouldn't necessarily. They wouldn't necessarily have anything like this, you know. Yeah, they yeah. might have a couple here or there. Right. Like the uh, job they're doing in Birmingham, Alabama, they're taking down uh, a 
already as a thunderbolt and a compressor. So that community is just compressing it down there. So glad it's not coming back here. So what did you find out about when I took the kids in this drawing specifically for fire? Well, it, it scares them. From what I gathered, uh, a lot of the kids are scared of the noise. Whether they live in a town and it goes off with a loon whistle or a fire. So after a period of time, they want to know what's scaring them. Okay. So they dive into it and they know way more, way edu more educated than I even can dream of. Because I know like a lot of people who are into sirens said that they either have some form of autism, ADHD, or OCD. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Some people are neurotypical too, but. Yeah. Well, and it could be that it's almost a, a, a sense of control. Like if you know if you know about what it is that scares you, then somehow it makes you feel like. <laughs> well, it, it makes, makes you it feel less, a little safe. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, that's a lot of the kids I talk to, and they dove into it head first to find out what is why it's scaring them. Then, then it's all over. I'm dead. Up here buying it. Put in the Vortex 4004. Okay, that's creeping me out. Bunch of thunderbolts. I know. Well, I can't get back here anyways. There's a blower right there. Can't really see it. Looks like a C. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna lift one of those yellow ones up with one hand and just put it <laughs> put it on top of the car. And, you know. <laughs> so how long have you been interested in the sirens? Kind of started when I was four, but didn't really get too deep until I was like this about a year ago. Okay. Look at that, those are, those are metal shavings. Wow. This is still in production. I know. Today, this is your model two. And then that's the housing. Yep. Then that's the housing that goes over to, this is an old one. Uh huh. I'm trying to convince the boss man to let me have it. Okay. Because <laughs> you can run this off from typical one. house power. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Very so, cool. I think I might get a Model A pretty soon. A model 8? A. A. What's an A? It's like, sort of like it's an older like World War One siren, but like it's still being made like for like smaller sirens and one of my friends in Georgia has one but he said that he's gonna get a model two within like the next four months or so so when he gets a model two he's gonna sell he, you his A? Uh-huh. Yeah. The A is a small is yeah. it lined up? No, it's no? like it runs off of like one twenty volts like mm -hmm. these do. Yeah. 
Yep, these ones are kind of the fine used ones because they just they're simple machine. They're simple motors. There's a there's a brush system and that's it. Wow. So there's nothing really that goes wrong. If if it does, it's easy to be replaced. Interesting. Look at these. Look at these over here. Yes. This is pretty oh. fascinating. These are these are the control panels. You can see the back of the chopper. Okay. That's Boy, it, it's funny how big these look. Yeah. You know. Let me take, what does that say? Uh, missing. Missing. Uh, missing Brushes. parts. Brushes. Come. Um, something. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. It's, it's a timer. It's, yeah, it's probably just telling them. So look, there's the, there's the. So they have to assemble those. See, because mm -hmm. there's holes for the bolts. You know. Yeah. They have to assemble all that. He's gonna give you a little souvenir, I think. And you need to thank him, okay? Why for taking would, time, huh? Why would I not thank him? Well, I just you need to go. You need to go out of your way to make him enthusiastic because he's taken time to do this with us. Okay. Don't make me go on a goat trip. It's interesting. I mean, they must have been shooting something down. It looks yeah. like. Federal Signal Corporation. Fed Sig. Hmm? Fed Sig. Fed Sig. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Look at these batteries. Looks like they got a little canopy there in case they need to work out in the sun. Very interesting. Here's a here's a, a door, a you know, yeah. panel door. Hi there. Oh. Wow. All righty. Well. So if you if you, if, if if you won the lottery, or I should say. If, if you could have one Want thing to... Want a glass to... of water? We're, um, we we're water. good. Yeah, we have some water bottles in the okay. car. Thanks. Oh. Look what you got there. You know what this is? Controls. It's a... It does nothing for us anymore because they're not... Um, this is like six controllers ago. Okay. This is a B board. Okay. Uh, so, this is what controls your siren. I'm just trying to see if I have. You want to go out and look at one of the one, new ones? And kind yeah. Of, then the actual little uh, paperwork is still in here, so you can read that and cool. kind of see how it all works. These holes are huge. <laughs> Gosh. I think pencils. Giant. Pencils for giants. There you go, Lizzie. Check it out. Watch your leg on here. That's sh really sharp. That's the AC rectifier. This, this is uh, your LED FCM Plus board. This is your brains on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So you're at a computer. You have a two-way radio, so it will communicate back to the base station, and you can hear it talk back and forth. This is what that is, but old version. It's not not narrow bandable, and so like what sort of siren could be hooked up to that? Um, the old old ones, the five, sevens, twos. But you don't need this. This is just kind of a piece of nostalgic history. Uh, you don't need this to, unless you want to remotely. And these are capacitors. Okay. So there's still some energy there stored in them. Okay. So just <laughs> FYI. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, take them off. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Put yeah. Them in. These um, are batteries. But, What's that? These are the batteries. Yep, battery cabinet. They're not in there now, obviously, but... Uh, are those those batteries we saw inside there? Those, like, big... Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
two down here, two up there. I interrupted you though, I'm sorry. You're <laughs> no, it's okay. Something. 48 Explosive volts. Gas. Yeah. Smells what? Explosive gas. Explosive yeah, there's <laughs> acid. Wow. Wow. Yep, it's kind of dangerous if uh, somebody does the wrong thing. A lot of power. Mm hmm. Wow. How many volts? Do you know how many volts the typical 2001 siren runs off of? 220. Okay. Okay, and there's the mounting things up the back of the pole there. Yep, the head brackets and wow. Well, Doc, Mike, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. You're welcome. So, no. if you don't want this, you don't have to take it, but it's probably some yeah. good breeding for you. <laughs> Does it sound yeah. good? Yeah, thank you. Yep. And um, so, so if. So if I wanted to do some Christmas shopping here, <laughs> what's like, like if you if you were gonna get rid of something, like what uh, what would be the what would be the easiest or what, you know what would be the most desirable thing for you to get rid of? The, the, for her perspective, would be the one thousand or the thunderbolt. And which one is the thunderbolt? The yellow one? Yep. Yeah. Not the, not the one that has the what are those called? Solenoids. There you go. Okay. So like, the, uh, and the uh, siren welder is called the bow tie. You heard that terminology? Yeah. So like those those things that are sticking off the side that looks yep. like a bow tie, it, that's the solenoid? Yeah, it changes yeah. the pitch. Like yeah. the wee Otherwise, it's just uh, single Yeah, because the ones without solenoids are either single tone 1000s or dual tone 1000 Ts. Because like that one sitting there doesn't yep. have the bow tie on it. Right. Yeah. So that's, prob that, that's probably crazy heavy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, have you so, ever heard of the one guy, Charlie Davidson? He has one on his roof. <laughs> mm, mm On his roof? Yeah, 1,000 There's a couple feet. people that I know have them in their backyard. Because, okay. you know, yeah. these are elevated. You know, this pole was cut off a little bit. Yeah. But you can kind of get the gist of it. Right. The, that's the compressor that Blower. gets the, the air flowing. That's the air pipe that runs yeah. down it. Yeah. And that's what the head runs off from is the air. They're so. supercharged. So, but to a enthusiast, you don't necessarily need all that right. and all the control panels and everything to get to work. Yeah. You can actually make them sound off from just a leaf blower. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to be as intense. Right. <laughs> but uh, to get the, the feeling of it and so purchasing one is one thing, but transport transporting it would be another. So yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're Very welcome. good to meet you, yes, and, and uh, thank you. You're welcome. Nice we'll, meeting you too, as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we might come back up sometime, like you said, at a different time of year. Oh, there's our car right here. I thought we parked back there. <laughs> yep. So yeah, and, uh, early spring before everything starts going crazy, uh -huh. or late fall. Okay. Okay. And if we come in the winter, there might be uh, three feet of snow here. Yep. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, very, last winter we didn't have a lot of snow, but the winter before, in November, we got three feet of snow. Yeah. But then you go 30 miles that way, nothing. That's how, growing up in South Bend, we, 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 we would get the lake effect, and then, like like you said, a half an hour south of South Bend, there'd be nothing. Yeah. So, ah. I love live uh, in Buchanan. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah they're good. All right, Mike, thank okay. you very much. Thank you. We'll see you. Take see it ya. easy. Thank you. Hold this real quick. Yeah. I'll shut off my camera. Do you have it on your